Hey guys, what's up? Bye, Second Tron here from One Hive Gazette, here with the next video, and in this one, we're talking about when and how to heal your Valks at Town Hall 10. Uh, this is obviously kind of a specific video, but I think I you know, want to give some Town Hall 10s uh, some of the content here because Town Hall 9s still are favored, I think, on the channel, even though I'm now a Town Hall 10. So, uh, and, and Valks are so common that I think this is something a lot of people relate to because, I mean, they're not that tanky. They have about as many hit points as, as a giant, give or take, which isn't a ton. It's, it's pretty solid, but uh, a lot of times, especially for three-star attempts, you need to heal them. And the attacks I'm showing, this one actually is a two-star attempt, but the principle is still there. So don't, don't worry about what actually is going on as far as the purpose of the attack, but more as of, of the, the, how the attack is technically being being run. So I can go ahead and fast forward through my queen walk, but uh, on this attack I think it's a good example of how to uh, how to heal your Valks. Um, there's basically two different ways I'm going to be showing in this video. One of them, uh, the first one here, uh, is I'm not bringing a freeze because the Inferno Tower is the biggest threat to healing your Valks. If there wasn't the Inferno Tower you could just heal them up um, because, you know, giant bombs, uh, all the damage they take at Town Hall 10, the heal is necessary, I think that's clear, especially if you want your Valks to go deep into the base. So oftentimes you're going to want to use a heal, sometimes not, but a lot of the times, especially if you have the spell space, which I do here, it's going to be worth it. So uh, for this first attack, I'm, I'm using the heal in between Inferno Towers. So you'll notice that I can always drop the Rage first. If you're going to Rage and heal in the same spot, Rage should go first, then let them run into the heal. But look, the heal goes down right there because as soon as that Inferno Tower goes down, there's a little bit of a buffer space before they engage that next Inferno Tower. And uh, once that happens, it's on them. Uh, the heal's not going to help quite as much. But you can see there was a giant bomb in that initial compartment. They took quite a bit of damage. And that heal between the Inferno Towers is something to look for. I didn't need to use a freeze because there was an area in time uh, where... They were going to have taken out the first Inferno Tower, but not yet have gotten in range of the second one. And you can heal over an Inferno Tower um, going beyond this, because it does only take five uh, slots up. So yeah, you can heal uh, while it's uh, being activated on your Valks, but you're going to get the most value when it's not on your Valks, whether it's frozen or out of range. And you can see here, um, I identified how far apart the Inferno Towers were, and between Inferno Towers, I gave my Valks a quick heal, making sure to get it down early though, because the heal lasts a pretty long amount of time. So get it down early, don't waste any time, uh, because it'll last for a while. You don't have to worry about it running out at Town Hall 10 if you're using it on your Valks, because they move so quickly and it lasts for a considerable amount of time. So don't worry about it running out, uh, get it down earlier rather than later. But uh, like I said, you still want to raid your Valks first. Um, we're looking at Pendragon. I think this was a three star attempt, I'm not. 100% uh, sure, but I think it was. And more importantly, you can see here, uh, has the heal, and he's gonna use it uh, with a freeze. And you'll see what I mean in a moment. I'm gonna go ahead and fast forward through here. Um, but another time to use it really is when you're going to be uh, freezing one of the Infernos. A great combo is a freeze heal. Now, that shouldn't take the place of a rage. If you have the spell space, obviously, that's when you want to use it. The rage is very important for the Valks at Town Hall 10 to get through high HP sections of buildings and keep them moving very quickly. But if you can have the freeze and the heal combo, that, that really allows you to give your Valks a boost as they go through the base, get them back up to um, near full health. And uh, you can see here, comes in, gets that first Inferno Tower taken out, drops down the rage, pretty good placement there. And look how early the heal went down because he knows it lasts so long. Get the heal down before the freeze. That's really important. The freeze is way quicker than the heal. So every second that the defenses are frozen, you want the Valks getting the benefit of that heal. That's why you want the heal to go down first, then use the freeze. And you can see the Valks got a pretty good uh, return of health right there. So um, a lot of them are still uh, in the green. They do go down because they get hung up on walls and the wizard tower and all that point defense starts doing work on them and the healers are on the golem. But you can see they got, if you want to go back and watch that part again, they got a pretty solid uh, boost in health from that part of the, uh, while the Inferno was freeze, frozen while they were under heal. So those are probably the two times you want to use it. Look for either a 
spot between Inferno Towers where you can get them healed up real quick. Like I said, get that heal down early. Or when you can do a freeze heal combo. Uh, still using that rage usually. You're going to need it for most parts of a base, especially once you get towards the core where there's a lot of HP, a lot of defenses. But if you have the spell space, if you can maybe do a cheaper queen walk, only have to use one or no rages. No rages is awesome. If you can do that on a queen walk at Town Hall 10, that will allow you <clears throat> uh, to be able to uh, then bring extra spells for your Valks and be able to bring that freeze heal combo. And that really opens up uh, a three star possibility because your Valks midway through the attack at the critical part, you're going to be able to freeze an Inferno Tower and probably other a, a few defenses or heroes or CC troops nearby and then uh, get that heal. So they'll be pretty much uh, back fresh how you drop them in the middle of the base, and that's huge. So hope this video helped for those Town Hall 10s out there. Uh, if you're just a 9 watching, uh, I, I'm sorry it doesn't apply to you quite as much, but let your Town Hall 10 clan mates know because very important, obviously. So uh, thanks for watching. Um, have an arranged war this weekend. I'll go ahead and show this real quick. I'm not actually in it. Long story there. I'll let you guys know later about that. But have some uh, gonna have some fun attacks coming from that one. So stay tuned. Uh, should be interesting what we get out of this arranged war. Uh, I'll see you guys later. Bye, Sectatron. Hope.